Okay, it's been a little bit of a while since uh, I've done an update for this car. Today I'm going to be trying to get the intercooler set up on, so I'm going to use the existing uh, intercooler, uh, the custom made one off my EP82. So you can see I've got the intercooler here. Um, it's the thick core one though, so looking at this and the space I've got in there, um, I've taken off a front section of the bumper. Now I've got this thick core intercooler which is pretty much the width of the space so it can get a fit but it might restrict the radiator a little bit so I'm having an hard on putting in a, a thin one in from um, I think Toyota Sports do a thinner one for about 50 quid so it's not too expensive. Uh, I've got the hot pipe um, which roughly fits the same. Um, obviously it connects to there, we can get in down there, there's a rejig of a bit of the car but obviously it's going to connect to that and the pipe's going to be around here somewhere so I'm going to have to play around and see if I can get it to fit. So I've got the, the old bumpers and uh, they've got a bit of a, well, they've got a splash guard on the front, so I'm just busy taking that off. Just going to have a quick look. So I'm not going to be driving through any rivers or anything. So that can come out. Now, even though the engine bay is actually tiny, the... There's a lot more space to work on the engine, surprisingly, because you haven't got the power steering pump, so it'd be nice to put a nice uh, intake on there. I'll be sticking out the front somewhere. But this is a space I've got to play with, so hopefully I can get it in there. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. It's going to have to play around cutting some pipes. I think I'm probably going to have to order some silicone as well. Oh, and while I'm at it, I've um, nearly finished the fuel tank as well now, so been waiting for a filler cap to arrive for it. As you can see now, I've um, put a Mocal aluminium filler on it, so that's cool. So, that's my petrol. That's uh, a solid 50mm pipe connecting to the the neck on the tank. Get that bloody thing back on. What the hell? Oh, there we go. So I've routed one of the, or routed, say, rather fucking American. Um, there's a breather. So I've got rubber fitting to connect that up. And probably going to block this one off. Got a spark plug in there at the minute. <laughs> So that's that pretty much done, so that's cool. Uh, the car starts and runs. So I just need to do the clocks and the intercooler. And my exhaust has been done Friday. So I can't wait. Anyway, I'll let you know I get on. <laughs> 